Good morning, everyone. This is DM. <laughs> I just wanted to clear the air to Sarah and everyone that was sort of in the discussion chambers, <laughs> chambers, discussion forums. Okay, so apologies. I think we got off on the wrong foot. I think the conversation got derailed at one point and it became more about qualifications and, and sort of bickering and what's your background, all that stuff. But I think that's the point. That was the whole point of the discussion, you know is really what is anybody's qualification for anything that they say, right? What gives you the right to say anything at all, right? That was the, that's the main goal. And Cliff High is like, well, yeah, as long as your information is correct, you can say whatever you want and I'll believe you. If it's not, I won't believe you. That's how Cliff High operates. That's how most scientific people operate. They operate on information. So just to show you why the source of information, the authority of information doesn't matter, I'll, I'll give you a thought experiment and I'll, I'll actually even show you how your entire career is built on the opposite assumption. So <clears throat> qualification issues, all right? So here we have God and we have the devil. And you ask them both, what does two plus two equals? God is gonna say two plus two equals five. The devil is gonna say two plus two equals nine. Who is right, you know? Well, God's closer, so you, in, you intrinsically feel as though God is closer, you have some loyalty to the guy, and so you're gonna say God is right because he's God and he's closer to the answer. And then somebody else is going to say, look, no, the devil is right because X, Y, and Z. And so you're going to go back and forth, but you missed the whole point. The whole point is neither of them are correct. No matter how much of how much authority do they have, how much um, omnipotence or how much amazing they are as persons, how qualified they are a as entities, not persons really, but entities of supernatural proportions, neither of them are correct. But look, the information needs to be... Um, it needs to be synthesized, right? So when you add two plus two, you, go, you get four. So if I say four, I'm actually correct. And I beat both of them. <laughs> and this is not more, this is not an ego issue. It's just, I've, in, in our thought experiment, I can show you that the information integrity is what matters, not the source. It doesn't matter if you're a janitor, you're an MBA, if you're a PhD, if you're a homeless person, if you're this or you're that, if you're 12, if you're 50, as long as the information that you're talking about is is uh, correct, it does not matter your qualifications, your age, and all of this. And that's the great thing about the internet. Anyone at any point of time can come to the internet and tell them tell you uh, uh, the proper information. They can also mislead you and all of that. And I'll, we'll get to that. The second way I want to show you is what gives you the qualification to be a talk show host, right? Did you go to college? Did you get a you know degree in communications? No, you didn't. At least I didn't see it in your um, uh, resume. I checked out your resume too, just just because you know <laughs> if we're gonna do background checks, fine. <laughs> we'll both play the game. So you know you didn't go to college, but it still matters because look, you don't have the qualifications to be a talk show host, but you're still a talk show host. You can have a YouTube talk show host because. You could you have a camera, you have a guest, and you can talk to these people and be like, hey, tell us how the world is, you know, and that's really cool. You know, so you understand the source and your background really does not matter as long as your information is correct. But the real world doesn't work that way. You know, information is always incomplete. It's never truly correct. It's more like it it it's more like it's better or or worse. It's it's a range, I guess. Um, and Cliff High deals with uh, Seth theory and he tends to, he has a range of, of uh, relationships he's looking at and a possible range of outcomes. He doesn't necessarily know what the outcome is, but I think there, he's, there's a way I think he's doing it statistically to get confidence, but that's confidence. He can't, I don't, I don't think he can truly fundamentally pinpoint it at a level. He, that's why it's better than chance, but there are still there's still chance. Just the nature of the universe. So that's why I really think Cliff High is pretty pretty cool because he's he's doing all these set theory math and all of this stuff, and he can show you precisely through mathematics why he's correct. That's also why I think Satoshi Nakamoto is cool. You don't need to know his background, his qualifications. He wrote the white paper that changed the entire world, right? Finance is never gonna be the same. <laughs> so that's the real issue here is that qualification doesn't matter. What really matters is the skill set, okay? And as long as you have the skill set and the and the thinking tools, knowing how to argue, knowing logical fallacies, knowing how to sort of structure arguments and, and you know, even give people thought experiments like this, you're fine. It doesn't really matter who you are or you who you aren't as long as the information is correct. That's my fundamental issue with our discussion is you're saying, no, you need to get qualifications, you need X, Y, and Z. Like, no, you, you don't. 
So when you bring fakes on your show, that's a huge problem for me because I'm somebody who's real and I know what blockchain is and I understand how it works. Hell, I'm actually converting the white paper into layman's terms, right? And I, I'm on part one. There's like nine parts, so by the end of the week I should be done. Um, and so if you if you know what it means, if you understand it, then it's like, oh, this, this and this guy is fake. And the whole conversation that you had, that 45 minute conversation, it was so full of it, you know? Like, neither of you have a good understanding of how this works, right? And you're, both of you are backing, backing yourself up by your years of experience, apparently. But your experience doesn't matter because your information is wrong. Your qualification does not matter because your information is wrong. It doesn't matter if you have a, a PhD it, or a patent. If your information is wrong, your information is wrong. And to just to just to show you and just to tell you about myself a little bit, just because I want to make sure that it kind of hits in your paradigm a little bit, I'll give you my quote unquote qualifications. I read the white paper and understood it, and it took me a while. It didn't. It's not like this. I had to really study and actually understand what this is to really get the impact. It's not just some paper file storage thing. It's not how it works. The second thing is I, I co-founded, or actually I founded CurrencyDigital.com, which is now a consulting agency. So I am in the blockchain area and you know I, I know what I'm talking about. So I, that's why I can consult. The third thing is I've been at this from 20, 2013. To be honest, I was aware of this since 2008. I've been following Cliff High since about 2005-ish. So I was, I was aware of all of these things and I kind of wrote it and I, I understand where Cliff is coming from and I, I've, I've seen Cliff High himself grow a little bit, or not him, but his, his work. His work improving a little bit, his predictions improving a little bit over the years. So I've been I've been around and I I've been watching. I just didn't have the courage to sort of say it. You know, now I actually have the courage and I'm pretty Gucci now. And then the, lastly, I want to tell you is I have a certification and I'm a I'm a bit I'm a prof I'm a certified Bitcoin professional from the cryptocurrency consortium. You know, and I know the technical details and I can break it down for you. In fact, if you want to have me on your show and I'll break it down, I'll bring, I'll bring a train and I'll show you how, to, how blockchain and trains relate. And I, I can show you precisely how it works by using trains. All right. Because one of my uh, younger <laughs> siblings asked me, hey, how, what, what is this? You know, and I need to, I need to explain it to her. So I'm going to use the, I uh, use the train analogies to explain it. So that's sort of my qualification. But again, it doesn't matter, right? I know what I'm talking about, and when I see a fake, I'm gonna point it out because it's it's very um, disingenuous of both you and and everybody involved to just go along with the flow of it all and not question these people who are coming to your show. Actually, not question the information they're coming to your show. And I don't blame you mainly because you don't have a working understanding of this. But again, you have to be aware of that. If you don't have a working understanding of this, you have to get a real expert in the field like Andreas Antonopoulos and then have these fakes on. Like, I'm fine with it, but like, you know, when you have them on and I'm commenting and I'm showing you why all of his all his arguments fail and you call it a smear campaign and, and you don't take that as feedback, you don't do your homework and you're, you know, sort of challenging me on my qualifications, it shows me that you're an idiot. You're a giant freaking idiot. And like, and that's fine. Idiots over time become smarter. And that's what I hope for because you have a talk show host. You're very open-minded. I respect you for that. And I think, you know, I'm glad that you had Cliff High on. I'm glad we had this conversation. But, you know, when you're talking about blockchain and things that I'm really passionate about, I'm going to comment it and say, okay, this is BS or this is not BS. So that's sort of my <laughs> rant here slash presentation. Hopefully everybody um, liked it. Again, qualifications don't really matter. What matters is you have the skills and you know what the hell you're talking about. Cliff Hike knows what he's talking about. I don't think you do half the time. And I think one one other thing, you mentioned Ed Moy. That was so funny. Like apparently I'm uninformed because I don't know who that guy is. I don't care who that guy is. That guy is irrelevant, right? Because blockchain introduces a system that completely overhauls the way traditional finance works, even the mint, even the mint. So that guy's relevant now. It's like it's like saying you don't know who the founder of CNN is. I don't care about the founder of CNN. I know who Sarah Sarah is. I know who you know all the other other talk show hosts are. I know who you know Joe Rogan are, and I know who all these other talk show hosts are because I don't care about CNN. Like it's irrelevant now. YouTube made CNN irrelevant. The internet made CNN irrelevant. You understand? So that's that was really funny. I, you think I'm misinformed while you're just like, oh yeah, I had Ed Moy on. It's like. Dude, you're having irrelevant people on your show and you're calling me misinformed. Okay, all right, fine. You know, if that's how it's gonna go down. 
anyways, um, thank you for listening. I hope everything's clear now. I, th- I think we all understand where we uh, stand now. I think everything's good now. So um, <laughs> I'll see you guys around. Bye.